I'm Lizzie from the Arts and Social Sciences Library and I'm reading Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, partly because of its connection with Bristol, but mainly because I've never read it before. The edition that we have online in our collection has the most beautiful illustrations by the artist Louis Reed. So uh, the first chapter, The Old Sea Dog at the Admiral Benbow, A Little Way In. He was a very silent man by custom. All day he hung around the cove or upon the cliffs with a brass telescope. All evening he sat in a corner of the parlour next to the fire and drank rum and water very strong. Mostly he would not speak when spoken to, only look up sudden and fierce and blow through his nose like a foghorn, and we and the people who came about our house soon learned to let him be. Every day, when he came back from his stroll, he would ask if any seafaring men had gone by along the road. At first, we thought it was the want of company of his own kind that made him ask this question, but at last we began to see he was desirous to avoid them. When a seaman did put up at the Admiral Benbow, as now and then some did, making by the coast road for Bristol, he would look in at them through the curtained door before he entered the parlour, and he was always sure to be as silent as a mouse when any such was present. For me, at least, there was no secret about the matter, for I was, in a way, a sharer in his alarms. He had taken me aside one day and promised me a silver fourpenny on the first of every month if I would only keep my weather eye open for a seafaring man with one leg.